hello everyone in this video we will learn about basics of thread now next move further do different types of threads mainly there are two types of threads first one is kernel level thread and second one is user level thread let us consider this figure first one is kernel level thread kernel level threads are a such threads which are created by a process within a kernel level or within a kernel space here this one is kernel space and this one is user space so the threads that are created within this space within this kernel space or kernel level space are known as kernel level threads whereas the threads that are created within a user level space or user space are known as user level threads so within this area the threads that are created is known as user level threads so these are the two different types of threads now let us compare user level threads and a kernel level threads first one is user level threads are implemented by user whereas kernel level threads are implemented by operating system or we can say is kernel operating system doesn't recognize user level thread because it is created by user not operating system whereas kernel level threads are recognized by operating system or kernel that's why that os can recognize these threads implementation of user level thread is easy as compared to this kernel level thread context switch time is less in case of user level threads as compared to kernel level threads context which require no hardware support whereas in case of kernel level thread it requires hardware support because hardware always lies in kernel level or kernel space if one user level thread performs blocking operation the entire process will be blocked because no interaction or no any other process or not even operating system can interfere with these threads whereas in case of kernel level threads if one kernel thread performs blocking operation then other thread within the same process can continue the execution because here operating system can control it example of user level threads are java threads and posix threads whereas example of kernel level threads are windows solaris now let's move further to hybrid thread what is hybrid thread now here there are two types of thread we have already seen user level threads and kernel level thread so if you want to combine the advantages of both the types of threads then we are using hybrid threads means it combines the advantages of user level thread as well as kernel level threads it uses kernel level thread and then multiplex user level threads onto some or all of the kernel means it will combine both here these are nothing but a hybrid threads some portion of these thread are there in user space and some portion are there in kernel space here again this thread is hybrid some portion is there in user space and some portion is in kernel space it gives the flexibility to programmer that how many kernel level threads to use and how many user level threads to multiplex on each other means it gives flexibility to user that how much portion of your thread you wants to keep in user level space and how much into kernel level space kernel level is aware of only kernel level threads and schedule it means here kernel will is only aware about kernel portion and that will only schedule that kernel level threads only now let us move further to p thread function calls so first of all what is p thread here i triple e has defined a standard to make it possible to write a threaded program that standard is nothing but a p thread then after what is function call function call is nothing but a system call so here we will see some of the p thread system calls first p thread system call is p thread underscore create this system call is used to create a new thread here this system call that is p thread underscore create system call works same as that of fork system call in unix once the new thread is created it will return its id same as in case of fork system call pid second system call is p thread underscore exit this system call is used to terminate the calling thread 
or we can say is running thread here this p thread underscore exit works same as the top kill system call in case of unix third system call is p thread underscore join this system call is used to wait for a specific thread to exit means sometime it may be possible that a thread need to wait for other thread to exit in such case the thread that is waiting for other process to exit will call this system call p thread underscore join to wait for a specific time fourth one is p thread underscore yield this system call is used to release the cpu to let another thread to run means sometime it may be possible that a thread is running that's why the thread is using processor but that thread come to know that i need to release the cpu to let it to another thread in such cases the running thread will call the system call p thread underscore yield to release the cpu so that that cpu is allocated to some other thread then after fifth one p thread underscore a double tr that is attribute underscore init that is initialization this system call is used to create threads attribute structure and will initialize by default and six one is p thread underscore destroy this system call is used to remove the threads attribute structure that is created by this p thread underscore attribute underscore initialization system call so these are the various p thread functions or we can say p thread system calls Thank you very much.